To me, there's nothing bigger than Daytona. I don't care what sport you're in, whether it's NASCAR, or Supercross, or uh, Rolex 24. I mean, it's Daytona. It doesn't get any bigger for me. And uh, it's kind of cool being Father's Day. It's been my dad's, me and my dad's saying since day one, it's all practice until Daytona. And being my first time here at Daytona to come to come home with a podium, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty awesome experience. It's a, one of those things that will definitely go down into my into my little notebook as being one of the high points of my career. So I'm um, really, really excited about it. And it's a really, really cool opportunity to race here. It's been one of those weekends, it's uh, definitely a battle of attrition. It's um, one of those deals where you can't tear yourself up in the first uh, first couple of days because you know you got two finals to make it through and that's two big championship points races. I think probably my favorite corners naturally was the, the three and four, or two and three with the dirt, so using that handbrake to rotate the car. Um, definitely a lot like dirt fish, so it really played into our hands. Uh, we were kind of the benchmark a lot of the, a lot of the weekend. Um, we had a lot of the faster sector times in the dirt, so I think that just is a testament to training. Coming down the front straightaway, crossing the start-finish line, you're trying to pick out your braking point as late as humanly possible. You're at the top of fourth gear about bouncing off the limiter, really get it down to first gear, handbrake on the tarmac into the end of the dirt and try and get it pointed as straight as you can into turn three. Um, and do the same thing in turn three, Rot start it, stay far right, handbrake in, get it pointed towards the jump and, and really run that thing on the limiter trying to get the, get the grip back in the wheels because with these slick tires, it's just so hard to get that grip from a slow speed in this, uh, in the, in this loose dirt. So um, really trying to find that grip, hit the jump and keep your foot in it and go through turn four, which is a really, really fast, um, fast left-hand sweeper. So it's, when it's slick, it's really fun because you can pitch it in about 200 feet before the corner and can really just kind of back it in. Say excellent job crew, excellent job everybody. Everybody's giving it their all. Tanner, you're driving your butt off. Good job. Good hustle. First podium, it feels pretty darn good. Uh, had, a, had a really good starting position, second row inside. Just kind of followed Austin through and just really started to pace myself. We hung with him for the first couple laps. Then when I heard how far back third place was, I'm like, all right, I don't want to risk messing my car up past the lead and I want those points. So um, you guys did a killer job all weekend during the heat. And we didn't have the result we wanted yesterday, but this is redemption for it and redemption for Fort Lauderdale. So really, really stoked. Really cool to have Shelly Rosemeyer and everyone at Daytona Harley-Davidson on board for this weekend here at Daytona. Uh, largest Harley dealership in the country and even in the world. So it's really, really cool to have them on board this weekend. Can't thank them enough. So here at Daytona, the track has suited Tanner a little bit better from some of his uh, Grand Am driving experience. So the track suited him better. We've all learned the car better. We've been able to adapt the car to his driving better. So everything in our game keeps coming up. And that's what we're looking for, obviously, constant improvement. We keep doing better. Hopefully, uh, hopefully first of many to come. With the team we got, there's no doubt we can do it over and over.